Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Colonial Airstream YouTube channel. On today's service how-to, we're going to be talking about a staple of our being from the very beginning, awnings. And unique to Airstreams, we're going to be talking about Zipti awnings. So today we're going to talk about how to utilize and maintain your automatic or your manual awning, and we're also going to just tell you how to avoid mistakes that could result in damage of your Airstream. So come on, let's get started. look at your manual awning first, you can see that we have many locking mechanisms up here for security purposes. On the end, on our arms here, we have these wheel hold downs, and on the top on our roller, we have these travel locks. Everything just to keep it against the body when we're traveling down the roadway. Ready to open your awning? During orientation, you should have been given this long awning tool. This is what you're going to use to unlock and pull down your awning. You simply want to start by taking your tool, taking your short end, inserting it in your travel locks, and giving them a counterclockwise twist. Now that the roller is released from the body, we're going to move over to our wheel locks here, our hold downs. We're going to give them a counterclockwise twist as well. And as soon as we're able, we're going to separate them from the arm. Now we're going to jump over this side, get up to this wheel hold down, and do the same thing. From here you want to find your fabric pull tab, you want to take your action end here, grip her nice and tight, and pull it towards you. After a bit of time you should be able to reach this guy with your hand, you should be able to get some wrist control here. Now she's not going anywhere. We're just going to keep pulling her out, and once she's made her full trip towards me, and her balance is dropped down, I have the option to roll up my fabric tab here, and stick it into the gap between the tube and the fabric, and hopefully wedge it in place. Now she's gonna hold it right there for me and I'm gonna make my way to the arms. While your strap is holding it in place, or while you hold the barrel, you should make your way over to the arm now and make your way up to the rafter arm in the front here. We've got a claw hook, we're gonna lift off its retaining clip there, and we're gonna make our way up to the barrel and hook in the space provided. Common mistake is to attempt to move the arm to the other side and to bring it down on this clip. This is a common mistake because it looks as if it belongs here, but please remember this is to extend the height and the side of your awning here. Our next step is gonna to be to lock our rafter arms into place. So make your way to the front of the awning here, grip your channel, and pull this towards you, and you'll feel that tension until she clicks into place. Next, we're gonna come back underneath, and we're gonna set the height of our awning here. So we're gonna to wanna to grip this front arm firmly, pull our release, and separate them until she clicks again at your desired height. Here you can see that we have our first, second, and our third locking position. There's also a fourth here underneath on the bar, but whichever position you choose, make sure that you go to your other side, you look on the outside, and you match that desired height. Next thing we need to discuss is what to do in the event of a storm. If there's heavy rain or persistent gusts of wind, it's time to just bring your awning in. If there's a light rain or just some kind of drizzle going on, you could just bring in that awning arm on one side to allow for some tilt for that water to run off. If it's gonna soak your fabric and you have the opportunity to allow that to dry before you run it in, you also wanna take the advantage to do that. When it's time to put away your awning, we're just gonna repeat these same steps in reverse. So we're gonna start here with our arms, pulling this release and allowing this arm to come all the way back in. Now we're gonna come up to the release on our rafter arm and pull this guy, releasing the tension, and then removing it from the barrel and sewing it right back on the retaining clip on the arm where it began. Now we'll make our way up over to this bar, pull this release on this arm, allowing it to come all the way back in. And now the release on our rafter arm again. And now this time, this barrel is gonna to wanna to come right towards me the minute I remove my rafter arm. 
like I'm going to firmly hold the barrel before I remove my raptor arm and bring her home to her foot here. Now I'm holding the, the awning out just by my hand here. I want to grip the barrel and make my way centered to my fabric strap that I tucked away. Now I'm just going to bring her back out, allow her to roll down beautifully, and then while gripping my tool, I'm going to allow the fabric roller to grip my strap, travel up in my arms until I can only grip it with my tool. I bring it gently into place. Please remember to come up to your travel latch, lock your roller into place, and then to make your way to your hold downs, bringing them into position and turning them clockwise until they lock down your arms as well. Depending on which Airstream model you have or what upgrades you've gone with, you could have a 12 volt Zip D power awning on your Airstream. If you do, you likely have your controls right by your entrance. This will be your open, your close, and a tilt for the front and the rear of your awning. Another fantastic thing is the wind sensors will know if it's a bit too dangerous for the awning and bring it in for you. And if you have any difficulties with your automatic awning, just give Colonial a call and one of our certified technicians will walk you through troubleshooting for your automatic awning. Zipti also manufactures our wonderful window awnings here. These typically can just pull out by hand. For the rear, we'll have these stoppers that kind of hold it out for you. You're just gonna put them in place. And on our side profile window awnings, we'll have this convenient hook fabric strap that's gonna be placed on the side of the trailer here. This will keep it snug and in position, but keep in mind, if your wind picks up, you should bring these guys right back in. Now that you know how to properly use your awning, you're safe to enjoy the beautiful outdoors. But before we end this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, or you have any questions, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialairstream.com. Our phone number is 800-265-9019. Once again, my name is Joe, and I'll see you all again in the next Colonial Service Tip video.